Howdy, y'all. It is Monday, April 3rd. That means bottle three in 25 days of bourbon and or I whiskey this go around. So, hope everybody had a great weekend. Kicking off the work week with a little something, something. Mmm. It's like a fresh spring day, y'all. Not outside in my glass. Fresh spring day. <laughs> a little bit of, uh, you know, spring-like floral essence to it. So shall we say, or shall I say, y'all let me know what you say in the comments. Oh, I like it. Charge, y'all. Oh, that do bring the spice. Yeah, I can definitely feel that one. Tasty, very spicy, peppery. Uh, kind of on the forward, forward end of the mouth, and then it kind of starts working its way back. A little bit of a burn, not much. Yeah. I like it. Tell me what y'all think about bottle three. Four Roses. Single barrel. This one is bottled at 114 proof and selected by none other than Brent Elliott himself, the master distiller. Says so. Right here on the side. Uh, this is recipe OBSQ. That mash bill was 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. This one was aged at 11 years and 6 months and bottled in uh, September of last year. So, yeah, very good. Uh, I, I, you know, hey, Brent's doing a good job. <laughs> I'll give him that. Uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of picks that are coming out now that... Uh, Stores used to go and do their own picks, but now anymore, a lot of them, um, you know, obviously to save on the travel money are just uh, letting Brent pick them out for them. So, uh, yeah, this one's a good one. My mouth is still watering. For those of you who watch my videos, uh, if I say my mouth is watering, usually that's a, a good sign for me. And uh, if you don't like Four Roses uh, starting out, Give it a while. Um, actually, with anything, if you don't like anything, start now. Give it a while and revisit it. Reason being is the more you, the more you drink bourbon, the more your palate is going to develop. Um, you'll get used to that lower rye, then you'll get used to a higher rye, then you'll get used to rye whiskeys, uh, which are ninety-five percent rye most of the time. Um, Years ago, when I uh, probably about eight years, nine years ago, maybe even a little longer than that now, when I, I started expanding my horizons into bourbon from just Maker's Mark and Jim Beam, uh, I went to Four Roses a couple times and uh, did not care for it. I, If you asked me to drink Four Roses, I wouldn't do it uh, because I wasn't used to that, that high rye uh, on my palate yet. But after a while and starting to drink more things that were... Um, rye based instead of wheat based and uh, gradually making my way up eventually I, i've come to love the four roses single barrel still not a fan of the yellow label um but a lot of people use that for mixing and cooking anyway so uh you know you probably not going to drink that straight anyhow but these uh, single barrels uh, especially barrel strength are are usually uh very tasty so like i said if you if you don't like it now revisit it later um, not just four roses, but any, any of them that you don't like because you think it's too spicy. You, the more you drink, the more your palate's going to develop and you're going to end up liking some of that stuff later on that you didn't like in the beginning. So tell me in the comments what you guys think about bottle three, four roses, single barrel, OBSQ, 114 proof, 11 years and six months. All right. Uh, 
Thanks uh, for tuning in, y'all. Stay safe out there. Uh, take care of yourself. Uh, don't drink and drive, but do drink. And uh, thanks again to uh, Mosquito Shield for uh, for uh, sponsoring us this go-round. And we're only two days away from that extra bottle, so day five and the extra bottle uh, in just a couple days. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, y'all. I'm, I'm sure everybody's going to be happy with it. All right. You guys have a great night. And as always, bourbon on y'all.